Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my monthly favourites, my November favourites. November is over, we are into December and it is absolutely freezing. But I wanted to give you guys some content. I'm looking a bit worse for wear, but I'm hoping you'll forgive me. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. All of the products I've been loving this in November. November is now over. I need to get that into my head. It's actually December now. Um, so I'm going to be doing a quick roundup of all the products I've been loving in November. So first up, as always, I'm going to start with the miscellaneous products. So first up, I'm going to start with hair care. And the thing I've been loving the most, as you can tell because it's finished, I've just restocked. This is the Caracare Silk and Seal Liquid Sheen. And my hairdresser actually uses this after or whilst he's blow drying my hair. So like whenever he does my hair, it looks really nice. So I wanted to try and replicate that at home, give my hair some oil, which I actually do need to put some on. This is a really nice little product, especially when my hair's just been done. It kind of gives it a bit more silkiness. Um, it's supposed to be a product for like after you've washed your hair. I think it's supposed to seal your hair and give you the glossy finish which it definitely does and I use it for like a good week or so after I've blow dried my hair. I think it's been like three, four weeks now. Um, maybe three weeks. Um, but I really like this. It's really nice. And I really like the scent as well. It's a really, really nice scent. So one of my favourite products of November and a product I've just restocked. So probably going to be a favourite for December as well. Next up is a skincare product and one I've been loving. It is the Dr. Barbara Sturm darker skin tones enzyme cleanser i've actually had this for a really long time and i only use it whenever i'm like exfoliating but because i ran out of all of my other cleansers that i like and i've just got lots of random ones that i'm not loving that much um i decided to whip this up and make this my morning cleanse so every morning i use this it's really really nice it's formulated for darker skin tones it does have a non-darker skin tones one as well which was like the original i guess um but it's kind of just one of those powdery cleansers tatcha do them Pharrell Williams does them, everyone does these kind of no water powdery cleansers that you just add a bit of water and wash your face. I like to not completely mix it before I put it on my face and let the kind of granules um, dissolve on my face as I'm washing it because then it feels like it's slightly exfoliating but not being super harsh because it's not got like tough particles. So I really like this, it's really nice, it's stuck to Barbara Stern as well so it makes me feel very swanky and like I'm a Hollywood uh, actress um, and she sent it to me even though she didn't. And lastly, in the kind of skincare side of things, this is actually a makeup skincare hybrid. This is the Laura Mercier Primer, Pure Canvas Primer in Hydrating. I love this one a lot, particularly in winter. It's really good when my skin is feeling a bit sad and dry and lacklustre. I've just actually rebought one of my favourite moisturisers moisturizers of all time but it's i bought it in december so it would be cheating to put it in and um, but this is a really good additional layer to after my moisturizer and before my makeup um the hydrating one i think i've just finished it so i've got to restock i bought it in the mini because i was transitioning out of summer but it's my favorite one next up is makeup we're in the makeup side of things actually i've got one more miscellaneous product actually i'll do it at the end because it's christmasy um next up is makeup and this was going to be in my favorites i said i was going to be talking about it a bit more um, and I'm going to talk about it now. This is Lisa Aldridge Cinnabar Eyeshadow Palette. It is a very, very nice eyeshadow palette. It's an everyday eyeshadow palette. And if I'm being completely honest, I was a bit harsh in my review, but I've literally worn it every day since that review. I don't think there's been, there's only been one day I didn't wear it. And that was when I was wearing the Lisa Aldridge liquid eyeshadow because I was testing it and I really like it. Um, but apart from that, I've been wearing this every day. It is a fantastic eyeshadow. I tend to wear four out of the six of the shades. So I go in with a bit of the brown and then a bit of this kind of bronzy one on the inner corner then this all over or this kind of middle third then re-blend it out with the brown and then dabble a little bit of this kind of sheeny stuff on the top one of my favorite products only issue i have with this which you can see it's glaringly obvious is this huge amount of pan i've hit now you guys may think i'm being like super ferocious with my brush i'm not i have lots of eyeshadows i only use the same brush type brush and it's never done this to anything else i don't know if it's super soft or there's just no product in here but this has hit pan in a major major way i've had this for about three weeks now i literally after week one it was already hitting pan and as the as the time has gone on it's really hitting pan so much so that when i went and got the liquid eyeshadow i went and bought um a replacement of this which i'm really glad that she does do replacement eyeshadows because um replacement pans because 
I really didn't want to like not use this eyeshadow palette anymore just because the main one I like had run out but I also didn't want to use it without it um so I got a refill I think it was 16 pounds not crazy but I don't want to have to be doing that every month and I won't do that every month so I'm gonna I'm gonna test it again once this is finished I'm gonna keep using the new one and let you know if that is just whether this was just a freak occurrence and it was just a weird pan or whether they're all like that and you literally hit pan after every month if that's the case then it's a no-go for me but I have been enjoying it I haven't hit pan on anything else um so hopefully there's hope uh but yeah I've replaced it but we'll see how it goes but I have been really enjoying this it's been my everyday eyeshadow it makes me just look kind of nice chill nothing too jazzy nothing too boring even though I did think it was a bit boring at the beginning it's very good my favorite eyeshadow palette of this month next up something i've been loving i don't know if i put this in my october favorites but the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter an old product i have this in the shade 6.5 really really good i i kind of didn't appreciate it for a while because i wasn't using it and then i tried it for like an everything charlotte tilbury video i did and since then i've literally been using it every day i just don't do my makeup without it because i think it just gives me more of a perfected glow not that you can see that right now but it's like the end of the day and i do need to do my face again i should probably should have done it first but um but this is a really good skin perfecting product it just gives you a nice flawless filtered vibe and a nice glow as well and it's the perfect perfect shade for me 6.5 so i'm very happy with this love it also another charlotte tilbury product i have been loving and i rediscovered when I ran out of my Chanel and I needed something else to use, this is the cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Almost hitting pan on this, but I have been using this for a lot longer um, since summer, pretty much. Uh, such a good product. It really does blur my cheeks, and I didn't really realize it until I stopped using it and then went back to it, and I was, like, super smooth. Really, really nice product. Easy to use. I use it with a with the Pat McGrath stippling brush, and it works really well with my favorite cream blush, which is the Laura Mercier. And now I'm saying this, I think I said this in my October favorites, but it is still a favorite. Another favorite is the Hourglass Tiger palette. I'm the year of the tiger. I have been actually used today the orange blusher, um, which I do like. Every day I use this as a nose bridge highlight, this highlight here, so very good product. Next up is mascara, and one of the mascaras I've been loving this month is the Sephora big by definition mascara it's not the best mascara in the world but it does do something i do like it's still very wet as a mascara and um, and i'm looking forward to it drying out just a little bit but it is nice the other one i really liked the um my friend's one i can't remember the bella lash mascara i really like that but it actually does create a bit of shadow under my eyes and considering i suffer from like dark circles anyway it just seems like crazy to be using an eye a mascara every day that gives me like dark circles on top of my dark circles so this one doesn't do that as much so i do like it for that i like the brush i think as this dries out it will be even better next up is the oh two things i've been loving and talking about a lot at any chance i get the pat mcgrath eyeliners i as you might remember as you might know discovered rediscovered my love for the pencil uh when i ran out of my liquid and i was really stressed and i didn't know what to use and this is just like super pigmented super silky glidey thick gives you like a big bold wing in an instant it is a fantastic black eyeliner so good particularly for your top like i have used it as a, an inside and it's quite like dramatic uh but on top of the lid this is sublime um so i really really been loving this this is the perma gel ultra glide eye pencil in extreme black and i've restocked on my favorite thing in the world the perma precision liquid eyeliner in i think also extreme black it's the only one i use it's so good it's so easy to create a wing it's so fine but it's also buildable can be thick it's just perfect it's easy it always sells out second to last are lips and I've got two lip products I've been lo loving. I think I said this last time, the Glossier uh, Generation G in Fuzz. I've been really enjoying. I think I did mention this last time. But also new to my crew is, oh, m might be my favorite lipstick. May have overtaken, actually has definitely overtaken this month, my Dual 300, which I've been loving since I got it. This has taken over. It's the one I reach for every time now. It is the Lisa Aldridge uh velvet sorcery such a good lipstick it's so creamy it's so matte it's so mauve it's just perfection sorry i've got lots of bad eczema on my wrist uh so nice R looks really good with navy as well i seem to be wearing a lot of navy at the moment so it just works really well my favorite lipstick of the month by far 
it has sold out hopefully it will be restocking but it is amazing as a lipstick fantastic all of her lipsticks are great i think it's almost time to bring out my velvet jazz it's uh, it's kind of winter time to be bringing out some of my reds let me know if you want me to go through my reds i don't think i've, I've bought anything new since the generation g and the say so i don't know if it's worth doing another red lipstick video to just add to but if you do want a video on some lipsticks let me know last but not least is a shout out to a small business a small business brand this is um a fantastic illustrator who i met at a fair i think about a year ago and i wanted to send out some cards some christmas cards um to people and i also wanted something that was like unique and original and nice and i just remembered her brand it's called nigeri illustrated her name's michelle she is awesome they are all handmade in london she's an illustrator she actually sent me this one as a gift because i bought so many um this is the one she sent me it's super cute she illustrates lots of amazing landmarks in london but there wasn't a chelsea one and i really wanted a chelsea embankment one so i asked her to do me one and she created the most beautiful card for me i'm not going to take it out because i don't want it to get messy but this is it love them so much super affordable especially if you buy a few it's an etsy site so you should be able to get it wherever you are i will link it down below she's fantastic she's a small business owner she's created these beautiful beautiful cards and she's an artist and i just wanted to support her so that is my roundup for november uh my november favorites very random very small but some really cool great products i've restocked on some old favorites this month so next month december so january december favorites is going to be like one of my favorite moisturizers in the whole world is back one of my favorite uh makeup removing cleansers is back and um some new makeup oh the lisa aldridge liquid eyeshadow probably will be in there maybe anyway lots to like i'm going to be testing some new makeup today this month i'm going to try not to use all the favorite things i always use because otherwise it will get very boring um and also you'll probably see me in this jump you've probably seen me in this jumper for the last three videos i was going to take it off but then i was just so warm um this jumper is definitely a favorite of the month because in london it was snowing yesterday it's so so cold it's like minus two so i've been wearing this jumper it's a cashmere jumper from n peel a very swanky cashmere brand those are my monthly favorites those are my november favorites let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys will you be buying anything will you be trying anything do you have anything do do go and support Najeri Illustrated and show her some love. I will link her Etsy site down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one.